10 important skills rich people have which poor people don't have. Raghu Rai said, skills are never taught, they are acquired. I can give you a camera but can't feed vision. Over a period of many years, people who end up being successful have worked hard to acquire some very important skills that allow them to be more successful than others. In this video, we'll be sharing with you 10 of the most important skills you need to be successful and how to acquire those skills and become more successful. Skill number 8 is very important and we need you to see it. So try and watch this video till the end. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Skill number 1. Communication Skill Kevin O'Leary was once asked how he decides which entrepreneur he'll invest with. His answer was very simple. Anyone who can explain his idea in 90 seconds. To become successful, you must know how to communicate effectively. Whether you are trying to get someone to finance your business, partner with you or do you some other favor, your ability to communicate effectively is what determines your outcome. What should you do? Pick up few books about how to develop your communication skills. Also, study a little about human psychology so you understand how people think because if you don't understand human beings, you can't communicate effectively or get what you want from them. Number 2. Networking Skill I saw a video of Mark Zuckerberg a few days ago where he was talking about how his friendship with some people while in college helped him to become successful. Not just him. According to a study, 79% of wealthy people network 5 hours or more each month. Why do we reach network? You see, we are living in a very complex world where you can only know a few things. If you don't hang around other ambitious people, there are tons of things you just won't know and your progress will be very slow. Take for instance, Bill Gates discovered the idea for Microsoft from a magazine he borrowed from a friend. What if he didn't network enough to have such friend? Why do you need networking skill? Networking with the right people will help you to know what you ordinarily won't know. Plus, these people will be a source of constant challenge and inspiration for you. Number 3. Vision Skill Jeff Bezos started Amazon in the year 1996 at a time when only 0.9% of the world was on the internet. Now we have more than 3 billion people on the internet. It's easy to do things when it has become popular. The hardest thing to do is the thing that no one is doing yet. That's what the rich do. How can you develop your vision? Be like Mark Cuban. Always ask yourself, where is the world going and how can I get there first? Don't think like everyone who follows the crowd. Go to unknown places and try to create something yet to be popular. The more you practice trying to see the invisible, the better you can become. Number 4. Selling Skill Herb Cohen is the author of You Can Negotiate Anything and he believes that we are negotiating every day of our life. Whether you are an employee, a politician, a scientist or an entrepreneur, we are all sellers but not many of us are good at it. How can you improve your selling skill? Be conscious of the fact that you are selling. This alone should help you in so many ways. Number 5. Focus Skill Steve Jobs was known to be a genius but most people don't know his secret. According to him, his motto was focus and simplicity. Most successful people simply focus on one thing all their life. Think about this. 
Warren Buffett has been investing since age 11. Michael Jackson started singing at 5 and did only that all his life. Tiger Woods started playing golf at 3 and do that till today. Bill Gates started selling games as a teenager and remained an entrepreneur all his working life. Focus, focus, focus on few important things is what separates successful people from others. How can you apply this? Don't be proud of being a super generalist. Know what you're good at and focus only on that. Number 6. Delegation Skill Poor people usually love doing things by themselves. Rich people love delegating. Let's face it, we all have only a few hours in the day. How can you get much done by doing everything yourself? What's the way out? Don't be a perfectionist. Learn how to sit back and get someone else to do what you should while you focus on doing something more important. Number 7. Leadership Skill John C. Maxwell said, Everything rises and falls on leadership. He believes you cannot go far in life if you're not a good leader. And I think he's right. Because to be successful in any field, you must have tens and hundreds of people who either work with you or follow you. How do you get these people to remain with you? How do you get them to see the vision? How do you get them to be committed to a set goal? All these require leadership skills. How do you become good at leadership? In my experience, the best way to be good at leadership is to take responsibility for leadership. Look around in your church, community or school and get involved. Take responsibility. Deal with people and volunteer to solve simple problems wherever you belong. Number 8. Negotiation Skill Successful people take time to understand human beings, their strengths and weaknesses. With these understanding, they always know how to get what they want whenever they want it. How can you be good at negotiation? We recommend you read the Herb Cohen's book, You Can Negotiate Anything. Number 9. Decision-Making Skill What most people of the world do is to make New Year resolution. Come on, that's not decision. Decision is not making until proactive, determined and massive actions follows. You can't claim to have decided to start a business until you actually start one. You can't claim to have decided to quit smoking until you actually quit for a year. You don't decide until you act. You don't even decide until you persist after your few actions don't yield the expected results. How can you improve your decision-making skills? Stop respecting yourself for being a dreamer or a talker. Make it known to your real self that the only thing that matters to your progress in life is actions, massive and determined actions. Number 10. Reading Skill According to research from Thomas Crowley, 85% of self-made millionaires read two or more books per month. Most people of the world rarely read anything else after school. Why is reading so important? Very simple, there are people all over the world who have achieved what you are planning to achieve right now. Many of these people have even died and those who are alive are not physically accessible to you but they have written down what they learned and how you can achieve what they achieved. Books are the only thing in the world that can help you to meet with great people, dead or alive, you cannot otherwise meet with. We don't have to tell you how to read because you definitely know how. <laughs> in summary, if you want to be successful in life, the following skills are very important. Communication skill, networking skill, vision skill, delegation skill, selling skill, focus skill, reading skill, 
negotiation skill, decision-making skill, and leadership skill. You enjoyed this video, didn't you? We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.